So in this video, we're going to talk about Form 4, Chapter 3, Bio Amali, effect of different concentration of sucrose on potato tissues. So whenever you get our question paper, I want you to read the question first. Do not go with the same. Because I want you to look for this, this part, to study, to determine, untuk mengkaji. Okay, because this will be the aim. Xian de muti, the to run of the experiment. In the aim of experiment, you always can get your variables, your MV, your RV, your demand, pilasi, and your bergerak balas. So they say already, study the effect of different sucrose concentration on potato tissue. So they want you to know how different sucrose concentration affect the potato tissue. How different kepekatan larutan sucrosa affect your tissue ubi kentang. And then for the... Potato tissues, right, usually they want you to measure the mass. They want you to know the percentage change in mass, whether it increase or decrease. First thing we're going to talk about is procedure. So procedure, formats. A lot of you will think, teacher, how do I get these formats? How can I, I write the procedure whole thing, right? I get one mark only. Okay, so these formats, right, you must include three of the variables. How do you handle your MV, RV, CV? And then lastly, the fourth one is the method to handle. Langka berjaga jaga means how to make your experiment more accurate. Okay, usually this one will be slightly harder like now. So let's talk about variables first. So first, you must of course know what's the variable of the experiment. So I'll skip to this question here. By the way, this notes is in the description below. You can download it for free. First, okay, we already know. Manipulated concentration of sucrose. Kepekan larutan sucrosa. So method to handle means, right, when you write your procedure, you must include all the values of your MV. So since my concentration of sucrose is my MV, right, I must make sure I must list down all the concentration. So again, let me give you another example. Let's say if my MV is uh, temperature of the solution. So I must write down all the temperature that you saw, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees. So later in our procedure, you must write 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 more, depending on what the, the concentration they give you. Lah. So read your question. It might not be always the same. So yeah, this is the main thing you got to mention. Okay, so for responding, I have two responding here. You can write either one. It's either you say final mass of potato strip or percentage change. So it's either jisim ahi operatus per ubahan of the potato strip. So let's say if you write final mass, your method to handle is, you got to write this, measure and record. So usually this will be the one we write in our procedure lah. Okay, easier a bit. So measure and record the final mass of potato strip after 20 minutes using electronic balance. So the keyword here, you must me mention measure and record using what apparatus to measure and record your responding. So just write the responding here. This one is easy. So in BM, you will say menguko dan merekod. Menggunakan neraca electronic. So the same thing. Now, but this one, usually in our procedure, we won't really mention lah. But if they just ask you responding variable of this experiment, yeah, you can just say percentage change of mass. But let's say if they ask you to, how do you handle this? It's not measured and record already. So how do you get your percentage? You need to calculate, use your mass formula, final minus initial divided uh, times 100%. Okay, so calculate the percentage change in mass using this formula. But when you write procedure, we write this easier a bit. Later, I'll show you how to write this. So constant, please avoid this type of potato. I know in your textbook, correct, right, this type of potato, but constant variable, we always have to choose something that have value, something that can measure what. Like for example, soaking period, muscle rendaman. How long do I soak? 20 minutes. Now, this 20 minutes depends on the question, how long they give you. In your textbook, they say 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, I think it's too long because we only have 45 minutes to do this experiment. So it could be 20, could be 10 minutes. So you must say fix the soaking period at the value. So you must mention the value. So why you can write type of potato, right? Because you might not know what the potato they use, right? Whether you use Malaysia potato, Indon potato, I don't know. So yeah, choose something that has value. Or you do want to write this, you also can say the volume of sucrose solution, the length of potato, uh, 5 cm, 20 ml, also can. But this will be the standard one, the easiest one. Uh. Okay, so now that we know these three variables already, so back to our procedure over here. So how do we get the four marks mentioned, the three variables, and the super cross set? Okay, so how to write it? Okay, so first, what do we do next? Let me briefly go through what we do next experiment. Uh. So we put the jalo ubi kentang, the potato strip, in the sucrose solution already. Soak it for around 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you just remove it, measure the mass and record the change in mass. So it's that simple actually. So first, I fill the four test tube with a sucrose solution. Fill four test tube with 10 ml, so we follow here, 10 ml 
of 0 0.2 m 0 0.4 m 0 0.6 m and 0 0.8 m superstition so if you mention all the value of the mv you get mv punya marks already fun mark so for the bm1 same lah so i just copy this one here and this here exactly the same okay the next prepare four potato strips by using your cord borrow and cut it into strips into 5 cm so i cut in 5 cm like the question say here after 5 cm ready then i measure the initial mass okay so this one not really got marks so then after that this one got marks your constant variable i soak the potato strip for 20 minutes so you mentioned the value of your constant variable that is how you get constant variable when your marks Okay, you must mention the value. You just say, oh, soak the potato strip. No marks. You must say, soak for how long? So the BM1, also the same. Masukkan satu juli jalo ubi kentang yang direndam sepenuhnya di setiap tabung uji selama 20 minit. Okay, next. After 20 minutes, okay, this is your langka berjaga-jaga precautionary step. Wipe dry with the filter paper. So after 20 minutes, before you measure the mess, you wipe it dry first. Because if you don't wipe it dry, it might be excess solution. It might affect the mess, the final mess. So on the wipe it dry first, Okay, so there's ex the excess solution I wipe it off. Okay, then only I measure and record. So this will be your responding. I'm resuming my say measure and record the final mess of potato strip. Don't forget to mention your uh sorry, the message here. Uh electronic balance, which is your apparatus using an electronic balance. So for the BM1, it's exactly the same. You lapkan the, the, the jalo ubi kendang dengan kertas turas with the filter paper. Remember to wipe, wipe dry is your langkah berjaga-jaga uh, precautionary step. Then say, menguko dan merekod the jisim ah here of jalo ubi kendang. Don't forget to mention your apparatus, which is BM. is called Neracha Electro. Done. So these four marks, you just write, actually you just write these four sentence, you get your four four procedure marks, which is that simple. And actually in an experiment, right, there could be more than one constant. So actually this 5 cm is also considered a constant variable because fixed length can be also a constant. Fixed volume also can be a constant. So this 10 ml is also actually a constant variable. So constant actually quite easy to get. Right? Sometimes you might even accidentally write your constant variable punya points. So it's that simple to get constant actually. Just remember to mention the value of the constant. So I hope this uh, can help you understand better how to write procedure. Okay, so we spent a lot of time on procedure already. So the next things are actually very simple already. So of course, there'll be one part that asks you to record the results. Now, this is the easiest thing to score marks in, but yet a lot of you make a lot of careless mistakes like so Okay, so first, uh, of course, in uh, concentration of sucrose solution will be given already, right? Just copy 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Now, unit, don't need to write the unit here. You need usually they will give you here already. So remember, if they say they didn't give you, they ask you to draw your own table. Yeah, remember to include unit. So mass is always gram, percentage, percentage. So let's say initial mass, example, uh, 50. Let's say for instance, example, I don't copy my, my, my data. This is an example. So 0 0.2, 0 0.4 low concentration should be usually hypotonic. High concentration should be hypertonic. So for these two, water should go in, the mass should increase. So you should get a uh, higher mass than 50. So for example, for 0.2 and 0.4, they are hypotonic concentration. So you should get a positive mass. 0.2 being the most hypo, so it will increase the most. Then 0.4 will be slightly hyper, be slightly lower concent higher concentration. So yeah, it's less hypo, so the mass will be lower a bit. Then 0 0.6, 0 0.8, you get even lower. If it's hyper, okay, let's assume this two is hypertonic concentration. The mass should be lower than uh, the initial mass. So let's say uh, 40 and then 30. So for these two, you should get a positive change in mass. So don't need to write your, your calculation here. I just write your answer can already. So for example, your percentage change in mass is always final minus initial. So it's 70 minus 50. Uh, 20 divided by initial 50 times 100%, you should get around, how many is this? 40%. So it should be a positive increase of 40. Now, don't need to write the calculation. Now, sometimes they might be decimal. So for example, let's say, don't need write unit also, 40.25. So let's say here you calculate it's 30%. You must also write 0 0.00. Means the decimal must all be the same. But if no decimal, then all don't need. 
If all no, they're simple, then all do need. Okay, so from here, it should be negative already. So this should be around negative 20%, negative uh, 30 over 60. I cannot max, okay, just simply lah, uh, 40%. Okay, so you should have a negative sign in front. So let's say in front got decimal already, all these must have that C. So that's how you write your data. And then next, permahatian, observation, and inference is always together. What? Observation and inference. So inference, if you still don't know what it is, inference means 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 uh, you could infer, you explain your observation, why like that. Okay, observation, don't need to put any bio knowledge. Bio knowledge, just write what you see. Guan cha, you see what, you write what. For example, you must always include your MV and RV punya value. So what do you see for your MV? What do you see for my RV? So always use the highest and lowest value. 最高跟最低的. So let's say I use 0 0.2 for example. So at 0 0.2, my percentage change in mass is 40.25. Okay, I know just now it's 40%, but now mind you just write 40.25%. Also, here you must write the value out. So your value of MV and RV must be mentioned. You cannot, a lot of you write this, or uh, 0 0.2 concentration, the percentage mass is highest, is lowest. Don't compare. Don't write highest, don't write lowest. Don't explain or because hypo, hypo, water going out. Don't need any explain. Just write what you see. Observation is that simple. If you write this one 0 0.8, then your final mass will be, percentage change in mass will be 40%. No? Ah, so BM also summer lah. Huh? Okay, 40.25. Then inference, now only you put your bio knowledge. Why 0 0.2? The mass increase to 40.25 compared to this one decrease negative and now only you write your bio knowledge oh because 0 0.2 is hypotonic water diffuses into the potato strip by osmosis don't forget to write osmosis remember this water diffusion is osmosis huh? and so the mass increase law usually inference will be around two marks sometimes three but i think it's usually around two marks okay so bm also summer lah la rotan 0 0.2 adalah hypotonic berbanding dengan sep cell ubi kentang Molecule air merasuk, mer merasuk pula, meresap ke dalam ubi kentang secara osmosis, jisim bertampak. If you write 0 0.8, one thing will be the opposite. Hypertonic, water diffuse out, air meresap keluar, jisim berpurang, mass decrease. Finally, not finally, sorry. The next one, hypothesis. Very easy. This will be yue yue in Chinese, you say. The higher the lower, semakin semakin. So, the higher the sucrose concentration, the lower the percentage change of potato strip. Or you write the balik also can. You want to say lower the concentration of sucrose, the higher the percentage is So you can see it's like increase the concentration, more of my water diffuse out, the mass decrease up. Yeah, that's why here I write lower. Lo. This one also same. Lah, huh? uh, larata, sucrosa, semakin meningkat, the uh, jisim semakin berkurang. Simple as that. Hypothesis is just like this. Okay, ah? okay. Then, variables, settle already. Next one, operational definition. This one, also a lot of you don't know how to write. Now, two marks, simple. The first mark is a definition, which usually this definition is based on an experiment. Okay, the first mark is quite hard to get sometimes because different teacher got different answer, different papers also got different schema. So usually for this experiment, they will ask operational definition of osmosis. Definisi secara operasi untuk osmosis. So we all know what's osmosis. Water molecule diffuse from high to low water potential. But the definition will have to be slightly um, related to the experiment. So in this experiment, osmosis is water go in and out of what? The potato strip. So we mentioned that. Lor. It's the water movement of water molecules in and out of potato strip cell. So the definition have to modify a bit to suit the experiment. So this one sometimes a bit hard, but it's quite hard to get. But if you know the experiment, you have all the experiment, you are then yeah, this is always fixed lah for this experiment. Then the next two marks is very simple. No matter what experiment, right, you should get the next two marks because it's just based on the Pombole uba the variable. So you just have to say shown by responding variable, affected by manipulated. So no matter what experiment you do, right, responding is always affected by manipulated. Percentage change in mass 
affects the concentrate is affected by the concentration of sucrose solution so for the bm1 yang ditunjukkan ole your pembole uba bergerak balas with peratusan perubahan jisim so peratus per, peratusan perubahan jisim is affected dipengaruhi oleh kepekatan larutan sucrosa so your percentage change in mass is affected by concentration of sucrose solution so every experiment also the same one so that's the second point okay so that's how you get two marks ah. and finally the last one graph so this experiment what kind of graph they want you to draw they want you to draw a graph to determine the isotonic concentration so this is how your graph should look like so the, your x-axis is always your manipulated variable concentration of sucrose and then okay this graph they want us to draw a graph to show percentage change in mass of potato strip against concentration of sucrose so it's always y-axis against x-axis or y-axis you just remember that's always your rv mv is always x-axis for bio so percentage change in mass there's positive and negative so your graph must always like that one because hypo increase hypo will decrease ma. Ah, so you plot the points already which i think is very simple for your plot already then draw draw graph with free hand we don't use ruler with free hand okay so once you draw this already your x intercept will be your isotonic concentration so here is what they ask state which concentration is isotonic and explain your answer so at x intercept will always be your isotonic concentration because at x intercept means your mass change is zero water doesn't diffuse in and out there's no net movement of water molecules so that would be isotonic you know, because hypo water come in hypo water hyper water go out now so at here water doesn't move in out that's why x axis mass equals to zero is basically your isotonic concentration which is around 0 0.48 i already written here then the explanation is exactly like inference use your bio knowledge and explain so why 0.48 is isotonic because the percentage change in length zero meaning to say there is no net movement of water molecules diffusing in and out of the potato cells by osmosis and for bm1 the same peratus perubahan panjang pada titik ini adalah sifat so the percentage change zero sifat no change so because this means the same molecule ai yang meresap ke dalam dan keluar ubi kentang adalah sama so in and out the same three in three out don't forget secara osmosis okay so that will be it for this experiment actually very simple and so maybe a lot of you will slightly struggle a bit on osmosis and uh, operation definition and procedure which i already went through so if you've got any questions feel free to ask me pm me or even comment down below so i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye